Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, March the 1st, 2022. The tarot card for today is Death, and this image, I think I've used this image before, actually. It comes to us from the Pocket of Peers Tarot by artist Jamie Sawyer. Not an easy deck to come by, to be honest with you. Now, I, I'm so happy to see this card. You have no idea. The last time we saw it was... February 27th of 2021. I wonder if I should go back and check that. That seems like a, a really, really long time. A little over a year. Mm. And what does that mean to us? I know so many people are afraid of this card. And I don't know how long I'm going to talk here today. So if you want to hear everything I have to say, you can always go over to YouTube or Podbean and, you know, catch it there. Even on Instagram, it will be posted. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, the sign of death and rebirth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there is something, I, I almost feel like it's extremely karmic what is happening right now. So let's talk about what Pluto is doing and all the things that are happening in the sky because it's very significant what is taking place this week. First of all, I've probably said this before somewhere, Pluto doesn't move very fast, all right? It's in the sign of Capricorn right now. And Capricorn is like, you know, the, the sign that has a lot to do with things like government, war right it's very relevant to things that are happening right now in the world and it's at 27 degrees capricorn it takes it 248 years to go through all 12 signs so it's not moving very fast but we had a venus retrograde in capricorn which began back on december 29 Nine, no, December 19th and ended on January 29th. And then, of course, we had part of the Mercury retrograde was in Capricorn. Mercury has since moved past that. And also we have Mars in its sign of exaltation, Capricorn. Hmm. Mars is like, you know, the, the war planet when you think about it. Now, what's interesting is that when Mars hit the 22 degree mark, which is getting way off topic here. We have to go back to January 12th of 2020, when Saturn and Pluto were conjunct. Hmm. All right, both in the sign of Capricorn then. And because of, you know, the nature of Capricorn energy, a lot of people thought something very bad was going to happen. And of course we had the pandemic but they were thinking more along the lines of what has just happened with you know russia and ukraine and that time where they came together that particular conjunction was at that 22 degree mark all right this is a thing that only comes around once every 33 years so it is still in play and when Mars hit that 22 degree mark back on, uh, I don't remember what day it was now, but anyway, when it did, that just happened to be the moment that Putin decided to go forward with his, you know, uh, attack on the Ukraine. So we get to, we get to this week, we get to March, by the way, welcome to March, and we have Venus and Mars, which are both moving much faster than Pluto, trying to catch up with Pluto, which they will do in two days, all right? And we're going to see, so Mars and Venus are both going to be conjunct Pluto two days from now on the third. Our, our death card is so very timely because every single one of you out there has this, you know, need for huge change in your life you know major transformations and i'm telling you this is the moment this is this is what right here this month this day you know the next couple of days as mars and venus come together with pluto right this is happening now it's close enough for you to feel it the power of the change it's not just about a need to close doors and letting old ways of life die away it's about what is new and what is coming and it's big it's huge and it's different all right different than what you have had going on for a very very long time and tomorrow we have 
a most glorious new moon happening in Pisces. This is a card today that I want you to not fear, like truly not fear, because it's meant to bring you what you need, all right? It's time is long overdue. Like I said, it's been just over a year since we've even seen this card come out, and that is rather rare for any of them. So, hmm, what do we make of this? I think most of you have come to the realization that, you know, something in your life has to be done because it's almost like you can't have this if you have that. Mm, think about it. So there's some huge stuff that's happening out there. And I think it's for pretty much everybody. And if you think there is nothing going on in your life, then I guarantee you there are those who are very close to you who are going through these dramatic changes. But it's a wonderful card to have because it means that you can let go. You can, you know, let that old life die away and begin a new one. It really is an amazing time, you know, seeing all of this happening, where and how it's happening, and whatever that Capricorn energy means for you, it just feels absolutely huge to me. And it's only the beginning, all right? This isn't the end. This is the beginning. And what are you going to do when tomorrow's new moon comes? I have been preaching this be ready for this new moon and it's time it's time to do whatever is necessary it's a big deal people so anything i can say anything else if you want to read about it for your sign you can go over and look on my website and you'll find look on my calendar that has the explanations there for what it means for you so i want to thank you all very much for being here i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day